All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the very first Contender Series game of the NC NJC AAE. We're playing Overwatch 2 tonight. We're the MSU Grizzlies, and tonight we're going up against SWOCC. Now, we are starting this map off on Li Zhang Tower, and our co-caster, Alan Dyer, is going to be the one to explain exactly what goes on here about the game mode with Li Zhang Tower. What's up, guys? It's Dyer. This is a control map, so on this mode, there's a central point that both teams are going to fight over. Once it gets captured, you actually start act, uh, accruing point percentage. Uh, the mode ends when one of the teams gets to 100%. And this is a best of three mode. So you got to win two of the three maps, get them to 100%, and then you get the map. Absolutely perfect. And we have our team comp over here. But before we continue into what the team comp is for the Grizzlies over here, who is going to be yellow team, by the way, I'm going to introduce my other two co-casters with Dyer and I today. We have Jackson Blue and we have Abe Rad. You guys want to say hello? How you doing? How are you guys? Absolutely perfect. All right, Dyer, what's the team comp here for the Grizzlies? So the Grizzlies look like we're running some kind of a brawl here. We got the Orisa and the Reaper, lots of uh, frontal pressure. Maybe get some flank angles on this soldier. Um, and then we got Lucio to speed him around, really get in and out of this fight. I'm, um, I'm also noticing of... that there's there's not a Symmetra right now. Ooh, Usually we uh... see a lot of Symmetra on this map. Yeah, late TP from Swalk actually. Normally you want to get that done early so you can actually get position on the point, but they were really late on that. I agree. Looks like both teams are really taking a lot of damage right here, just kind of trading out, getting a little bit ult charge oh, right here. Despian gets a huge elimination on the Junker Queen. That is a tank Force down for Swamp right now. It's a good nade. Huge biotic right there. And that's the Giratina gets a boop off the map right there. Looks like we can see Scuba Steve inside right now. Going in on Orisa, trying to push these, these SWAT players back through White Room and back into their spawn. Looking good as the point does go to the Grizzlies now, currently gaining a little bit of time on this point. So it looks like all of SWAT is trying to go back through White Room again. They're still in the sim, but they're not, they're not teleporting utilizing the, the sim. They're not getting TPs or trying to take any kind of angle. They're just going into their face. Right. Holy wow. There's a TP. Anyway. Big ultimate by Scuba Steve. Big ult already, too. An ult by Scuba Steve. Oh, Scuba, Scuba Steve. Steve. Going in, getting the double. Giratina goes down, and so does the boss. We're back to even. They might overstep a little bit. The oh, beat, they think they can win it. A little drop goes down. Swak pushing in really heavy right now. Scuba Ace Steve getting mana. a lot of damage down. Beautiful javelin right there by Scuba Steve taking spear. out the Reaper. They're back in here. They're going to draw this out a little oh, bit longer. A rampage from Junker Queen. Looks like Scuba and a boss going in, getting two eliminations, taking out the supports from SWAT. Those Symmetra turrets are doing a little bit of damage right here to the Grizzlies. The oh, <laughs> boss goes for the yeah, Reaper ultimate uh, right there. Yeah, they call that the mental shatter. <laughs> you just gotta let them know sometimes, you know what I mean? Uh, they didn't even need it. They, they don't need it. I they didn't need it. That reminds me of the last time that, uh, that we watched their game when, uh, <laughs> when it wasn't streamed, when uh, we jokingly told the boss over here on Reaper to solo Ultima and he did. It was great. It's oh! The oh, oh it's Scuba Steve! What a name, man. And a good sleep, oh, too! Huge sleep right there! Ace is popping off! Ace absolutely they have, good. They have big ults here. This, is, this should oh, be round Scuba right Steve. here. I think, I wow. think it is round as it is 95% to 0% right now. Grizzly's currently yeah. in the lead and with the hold it's of the point right now. Point. Looks it's like this Lucio time. is the only one on point. Will this Lucio stay alive? Gonna beat just to make sure it's safe. And just use it all. You got it all. Just use it all. You got it. 99%. Looks like a Doomfist rolling Doom. up in here from SWAT. Gets slept. Ace of Spades with the Ana going absolutely crazy. Symmetra just barely able to get in. Symmetra goes down as well. Overtime still cranking. And it looks like the first round goes to the Grizzlies, making the score 1-0 right now. And as Alan Dyer said previously, it is a best out of three game mode, meaning that the team, the Grizzlies, has to win two rounds. So it is currently a match point. Dyer, do we have any uh, any input on basically the team comp and how, how well it was used in this last game? Uh, the Grizzlies looked really good. They were holding space really well, and Ace... Ace of Spades hit some some insane anti -tick. disgusting nades, and then a good sleep on the Reaper ult too. Really good stuff coming out. I agree. I like, Jackson I like Blue, what do you we're have doing. Anything to say? 
They're nuts. That's about all I can say. <laughs> They're nuts. Our resident hype man over here, Jackson Blue. Looks like not much of a team comp change either. Wow. Nice taking it back. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Still no sim, but no sim for the walk. Swap the walks. Watch this. Switch to Sombra instead of sim. Yeah. We're gonna get some gross hacks, I bet. Yeah. A lot going on oh, right now. Steve is going really deep. He peels. Steve always likes to go deep. Steve on the JQ. That's really good. JQ down. Good seal Scuba out. Steve hitting a good melee right there. Taking out that. Oh, looks like Scuba Steve gets two. Taking yeah. out a support and the tank. So that's Sombra's running back. Let's go ahead and see what Thespian's doing right here on the Soldier 76. Go ahead and take a look. I completely forgot I was actually able to spectate in first person. Completely forgot that existed. Scuba Steve, what are you doing, brother? Let's see what you're doing up here on Orissa. Hearing some uh, somber teleporting, teleport, teleporting stuff going down. I completely forgot what it was called for a moment. They lose one early. This is going to be kind of tough without the damage from the Reaper here. And Soldier. Yeah, it's just Scuba Steve. The... Scuba Steve and Ace of Spades, the only ones alive right now. It looks you like Ace was able to get off. For a good. Don't know. Please don't do it, Scuba Steve. He, he knows. He's, he's a better player than he was. Oh, he almost gets the boop off. Oh, he that was just so gets close. staggered there though, fighting that out. He gets staggered pretty good. They're gonna yeah. have a chance. They're probably gonna have this tied by the time this fight starts. I agree, because now the Grizzlies have to wait for Scuba Steve to get in right now. See what Ace of Spades is doing, trying to hit some snipes over here. That amazing auto mythic skin. I always You're like to call out that my uh... the... Sorry, continue, Brad. Oh no, I mean nothing. No, I know. <laughs> Big ultimate by Scuba <laughs> Steve right here. Goes down, dealing a lot of damage, but no elims. They got the Kiriko down. Steve is giving this Kiriko fits, man. He's in her face all the time. As he should be. Yeah. You know, I just can't play myself. Steve. I, got, I, got, I got real opinions on, on support. So. Oh, and he finds the Sombra! Get Scuba the guy out of here. Oh my brother. God. You're yeah. through the chest. You're this way. Wave. The disrespectful wave. They're doing a really good job of keeping this Sombra out, too. Yeah. It's going to get a lot harder once she starts building the MPs, but so far they've forced her out a lot. It's taken her a long time to get it. He looks rockets. It goes out right there from Thespian. Taking a little bit of long-range damage from that Reaper. Scuba Steve is the one that's currently up in there getting hacked right there. No Fortify, no Jab Spin. And a beat drop and a Rampage go down. But a beat drop goes down from Kiratina as well. EMP comes out from the Sombra. The boss goes down due to the Sombra and the Junker Queen right there. Oh, and the cleanse from the Kiriko does not quite save. They're turning it around. They turned it. Oh my. Wow. Oh my. Scuba Steve. That's the Everyone cleaning up. Wow. Oh my. They're done. Oh Just my, wave. three ultimates, wave. EMP, Rampage, and Beat Drop from SWAT go down right there, but the Grizzlies were able to turn that whole fight completely around. If that does not shatter SWAT's morale, I don't know what will. That was really good too, they cleansed the beat with that EMP, so they were they were fighting that down beat and hacked, I mean. I mean, yeah, they had, they were. That's a tough fight to win. They happened to do it, Scuba Steve, looks like that Terror Surge is ready for Scuba Steve. <laughs> We should go early here. Oh, the sleep again! Ace of Spades, you demon! Oh, big, oh, big blossom. blossom! Big Blossom! Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, over. oh over. my We're goodness, guys. Clean, clean. Good was... game right we there. Lord. Grizzly's it's up fantastic. one. Oh, absolutely beautiful. We're going to go ahead and see what the play of the game is right now as the Grizzlies take home game number one. I think it's going to be the boss. I think it's going to be the boss. It's Scuba oh. Steve. Oh. All right, after this play of the game, we're going to hop into a quick Be Right Back screen, and we're going to be ready for game number two, and we will see you all then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for game number two of NJC AAE's Overwatch 2 Contender Series. We are the Missouri State Grizzlies, and tonight we're going up against the SWAC Lakers. Now, we're taking this game over to King's Row. King's Row is a very industrial yet beautiful map, as you can see right here, but I'm going to let my co-caster, Dyer, tell you exactly how the game mode on this map works. Yeah, so this is a hybrid map. Uh, remember those control points we fought over last game? They're back. You only have to capture one, and then a cart will come out of that building you see there. Uh, after you do that, you just got to push that cart as far as you can down this blue line here all the way to the end. Oh. 
pretty My camera. Cool, but... <laughs> My what camera. Are you doing? Cooking. Yeah, I'm cooking. Who, who this I'm cooking, go. but I don't know how I'm cooking. My job is at stake right now, okay? Ooh. Someone's. I, I think I think the chat is liking Dyer a lot. Like a little bit too much. I think I, I'm getting nervous knowing that. Job is in danger and he's fumbling. I'm fumbling. Im My job is. I'm making mistakes when I shouldn't be. I think Dyer might have to be your new personal caster. I think I think so. All right, uh, Blue. What do we have as the as the um, team comp right here for the Grizzlies? Basically, looks the same as you know, the first map. It's not broke. Don't fix it. We see Ace switching over to a Kiriko. Probably just to get some nice cleanses out, off. They swapped out Garatina for Jaden Key. Oh, they did. They swapped out Giratina for Dragon Key. That is the first thing that I noticed. Looks like Ace of Spades That's has good. hopped off the Ana and has hopped on Kiriko. Scuba Steve trying to be a dire copycat right here, hopping on the Junker Queen. He's probably better, let's be fair. He's probably, probably better true. on Junker Queen than Dire. I mean, I don't know. I've seen this guy Maybe Dire play watch. some Junker Queen. It's oh, they're going. This oh, oh, he goes in! Really good knife. They, get no kills. they need to keep going in. They're backing up a little bit. Trying to go too slow. This is in though. You just... oh, they out. A lot going on right now. Jaden Key goes down. Now, Lucio falls. That's got to be a disengage. Now you just don't have the speed. You don't have the speed. You don't have the healing. Good swing right yeah, there. That was perspective. He had he had the vision. I respect the vision, but there was not anyone there to fulfill that. A lot of damage being traded first off. Looks like Thespian goes down as well, too. That's a Jern Railgun. Beautiful headshot right there from Vibes. Yeah, right to the head. Yeah. yeah they have a lot of they have a lot of pick potential on the side of uh Swalk here. Yeah, they That's definitely do. Head. I'm seeing that's a Jern, you know, I'm seeing that I'm seeing that Baptiste back there as well. Just pumping out healing and as well as pumping out long range damage right there. Oh, oh it looks like they're the going in. They got, they got, they got, they got, they're gonna have a bait the bait rush already. This is going to be a hard respond. fight to win right here. Ace of Spades fight, yeah, and yeah. Thespian going down. He, does not he wants it. Up. He wants it bad. Steven wants the elimination. Scoop of Steve going crazy. Tries them, to man. get some of the healing right there with that knife, but doesn't quite get any healing. He got Rampage built up, though. He does have Rampage. Yeah, Looks like Thespian is about to have Visor. Ooh, yeah, Dyer are on the same wavelength right here. It looks like they used, uh, I just noticed. Oh, dropping, the, dropping back to Ana. I do like this on a pick. I do like, I like the pick as well. The on looked really good yeah. on map one. If she can get in position to hit a nade here. Oh, I, I like what I see. Oh, oh, man. They gotta break that big way. annihilation goes out to boss getting one. To boss getting another one. That's being going down though. That's being so trying to turn though. this around. They need to cut down they this. They got the Ram, there it goes. Yeah, that should be. Oh, they got it. They got it. And that's the break they needed. Uh, yeah. Kanshudo from the chat says that is my esports team right there. Let's go. We love to see Kanshudo in the chat right now. He's oh, our resident Call of Duty player. Yeah. A random, a random. Oh, oh, that's, that's inspirational. They're gonna window too. That is, that is just, just pure yeah. ambition. I have never yeah, seen just, anything like that. This is really good. A they knife pull right there. Going right. Oh, beautiful axe swing. Good cut right there. Yeah. Yeah. Taking that bastion out immediately, staggering that bastion, sending him back. Oh, the boop does not allow Screw to Steve to get that axe swing off on the Ramatra. The boss and Jaden Key both have their ultimates ready. A beat plus a death blossom would absolutely go crazy right now. Especially if the boss was gonna be able to teleport into this window up here. Looks like he's already ahead of me. Look at I imagine they nano blossom though. I would imagine too. I'm looking at that They're gonna beat engage, I think. Yeah, here they come. They Coming didn't right into the boss right here. I'm They're ready holding. for it. They're holding. That's just a burnt beat. They didn't go aggressive on that at all. Oh, he's oh, he's oh, he's oh I think he's ready for it. it. He's not getting the nano, but he's got something here. He's he, Oh no! How do they keep Lucio up? Looks like a beat drop from the Grizzlies right there. Big swing! Big knife right there. A super winnable fight now. That's winnable! Big ult for everyone! Huge ultimate scuba Steve! Oh! Oh! Flame Terror 50 says Dyer could replace Spencer next year. He could! This is my last year here at MSU, so I mean, we will need another caster very ne soon. Next year, I'm thinking like next game, you know? Next game? Hey, get out! Get out! Get out of my office, man! Oh, this is Jern. Oh, this is Jern. Oh. 
caught him out. Oh, okay. Uh, he didn't quite have the speed. If Lucio had been pressed up, they could have had him probably. So this Love payload is picture. about to reach its first checkpoint. Once the payload oh, reaches oh, its checkpoint, they can't stand an overclock. Oh, oh no. Oh no. They... They, I mean, let's see what they used. Oh yeah, my. They used, they used Monster Sojourn. and Sojourn. They, they yeah. used like literally everything. <laughs> they just went in. Yeah, Swak used overclock and their uh, annihilation. Ace has got nano. I think we used our guys. We had a nano guys coming up. We got a little, a little creative. Thought they could swing that back, maybe. I'd like to see them throw this nano on to Steve. Just let him. Yeah. Because Steve, back. Steve, Steve cooks. Oh, they're going. They're going for. They're going for some, oh, they're going for a little flank. I think. Steve pinging, but his team does not. They're listen. able to. They're able to wait out the window. Not really. They're going in. I think you just nano it. Nano him. Out speed in. Yeah. Where's the nano? Ace of Spades, you gotta hit that nano on Steve right now. He's going in. He almost has his axe swing back in just a couple seconds. His shout is almost available again as well. Much Big axe swing. Oh, they the got beat the beat out. Though. Just stay alive, live through the beat, and then it's a totally winnable fight for you, especially if you put that nano on Steve or. The Looks boss. like Ace of Spades is opting to save that nano, however. Lucy got yeah. out. She might be. I think Ace of Spades might have been waiting for Steve to get a little bit too too low. And yeah, just save him right there. Here. They don't got turret, they got a push. This is, it was oh, a big ult! Big ult! That's a big ult! That's, that's all of the fight. Oh, a little bit of lag right there. The da boss cool. getting three of them! Yeah. Oh, the boss getting four. The boss, you oh, absolutely managed. The, the boss fighting. with the oh, five piece. Use nano on, oh, on the boss. Oh, my. The nano a little they make it. The best Eight part. What? Uh, no. Yeah, they use the nano on the boss right here. This this young one right here. This handsome man. That guy. My that goodness. guy. They get the extra time. They get the cap. I mean, obviously you want that nano for the next fight, but it's not the worst thing. You still have an ult advantage in this one. Mm -hmm. That is true. No one from SWAT has it. They and lost him. Yeah. Wait, no, the, the boss, the boss, look. The boss high run? He wants it. Yeah. He wants he it. Wants I'm watching it. here. He wants <laughs> this. He's lurking. They, they, oh, they, they know. They know. They know. They know. They know. They know. Is he gonna go for it or is he gonna save it? I think. I see, because we can see they, us they as viewers waiting. Now we go. We go for it. After they should the be calling out that lamp yeah. to the boss right now, so he can. Drop. No lamp. No turret. He needs to get in there and watch oh, out. And he goes in. He there gets three right there. It. Huge Big stuff. Eater Matra alive. And a four piece right there. Another almost Man, five piece sure. from the boss. If they keep doing on cart, they might make it. Really good timing. It yeah. doesn't look like they're gonna quite make it though. Oh, actually, no, they will now. They will now. The Baptiste sold. Yep. Best game with the visor right there, they taking out three of them, allowing the cart to make it. Absolutely beautiful. 42 seconds left. So if this does go into overtime, the Grizzlies, I believe, are gonna have a minute 42 left. All right. Moving into round number two, and the sides have SWAT. That means the Grizzlies are going to be the ones defending with the SWAT Lakers attacking. It is the exact same kind of game mode right here with the uh, SWAT Lakers trying to capture this point right here as we saw before and taking that car as the Grizzlies did. However, for the Grizzlies to win this game as fast as possible, they're going to need to stop SWAT before they even get it all the way to the end of the map. So let's see, what's the team comps looking like right here? Hey Brad, do you want to see what the team comp is with the Grizzlies right now? Do you want to call that out, see what's going on? They got they got an Orisa, a Reaper, a Bastion, a Lucio, and an Ana. They're probably just going to keep Bastion out to melt the tank every time they walk in, for real. For I mean, real, that's what real. I would do. I mean, I like I like the thought right here. We're getting some they're Overwatch holding, 2 Premier Team insight right here. They're Three... holding close? Sorry, continue. Continue. Uh, I mean, it's looking like they're holding close. I mean, they might be holding on a point. I don't know. I prefer holding close. It's, it's... Holding close this... is less room for error. Hello. I think with this team, you're so spammy, especially into Ram, you can play further back. When he tries to Nemesis on you, you pop that turret, you just shred him. Even with this block, it just doesn't do enough. He'll fall over. Bastion just eats, just eats tanks alive, man. Yeah. Damn, it's kind of gross. Yeah, this is an aggressive hold here. Oh, he fortifies. Steve's getting really aggressive. He's eight. Big javelin throw right there. Yeah. That nemesis is slowly cranking down on that Ramaka right there. Yeah. When I mean, this nemesis runs out, they will get out of that nemesis. He's he very vulnerable right now. Yeah, this is a go button though. right here for the Grizzly. They gotta put back that shield, man. 
Oh, oh he cranks uh, Nemesis just in time yep. to save himself from Scoop of Steve. As Ace of Spades does go down. Does go down. Bashing in the back line right here. Sojourn's up top as well. Oh, yeah, oh, on height in the back line. They got flanked. Yeah. Looks like it is just Scoop of Steve and Jaden Key. I, I, it is just Scoop of Steve alive. Javelin's been trying to get out. Does not quite make it. Looks like the point is now cranking, and it looks like Swak has captured the first point, and that payload is going to be coming out of this door any time now. The Grizzlies have got to hop on that payload and stop Swak from taking it all the way to their spawn room. And Steve and Jaden actually got long spawns, so they're going to be later here. They were not going to be able to hold as close as they really want to. That is true. They're going to have to wait for Jaden and Steve to be able to get all the way back. This... Sojourn on the other team vibes. He's doing work. He's already got his overclock. This could be dangerous. Yeah, it's it's kind of if they dangerous. win this, if they win this fight off just overclock, this the, the snowball could kick off. This is a big fight for the Grizzlies to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th this oh, bend anti, right here. Is, yeah, that was a huge anti, anti from Azo Stage right here. This Bait bend right here on the inside of King's Row is definitely one of the most vital choke points in the entirety of this entire map. We got ults coming up. There got ults coming up. Oh, oh that's so big. much happening. So, so much happening. But vibes, uh, vibes with vibes. the overclock right now. Scuba alive. Steve, <laughs> Scuba Steve shuts him down, however. But as you said, Dyer was able to call that out. Saying that if they win that fight off overclock, it will just snowball. And we're going to see if the rest of that becomes true, as they did win the fight with overclock. It wasn't just overclock. It wasn't just overclock. The there was a window. Yeah, both support. Both support. For the Grizzlies, you can beat and re engage here and maybe flip this back. Just in that last fight, I would have liked to see the Orisa ult get popped and then bash and go into his ult and just fire right where Steve decided to go. Yeah, that would have been absolutely they, perfect, right? They, they gotta hold this. The Grizzlies have got to hold this right now. Three minutes and 50 yeah. seconds left on the clock right now. Once that payload... Oh, big ego really right there from DeBoss right there. Hey, no one thinks he's supposed to his Blossom, too. He does have his Blossom as well. Scuba Steve does go down. It's a tankless fight right now. DeBoss, you have a big choice to make right here, brother. I think if you just Reaper's, watch over there... Oh, I think it's a lot better than anyone on Swark at just eating space up, though. He's almost kind of a tank. He's really brawly, so... Yeah, DeBoss is an absolute yeah, demon on the Reaper. He's holding that. He yeah, does not want to give it up. You also, have, a, you also have an Ana. Yeah. Ace of Spades. She's not yeah, and Ana like Ace of Spades is actually just crazy to have on your team. She does such a great job at correctly pumping out the perfect amount of healing for your team. And the nades and the sleeps that she hits is absolutely insane. Because we've I seen a lot of proof of that over the last couple games. Oh, he's going oh looks like the boss is up top oh, right now. Off the top. Oh, oh, looks like he's got it. He's Here got it. He's he he got down. Off the top right. Yeah, he even he got both ports. Yeah. Push the passion. Just really stop. good. For much by himself. They got a overclock clock up too though. Trying to get the Ramacho with one. the annihilation off the point right here. Scuba Steve trying to be a martyr right here, trying to save his oh. team. And he gets so much damage on the Ramatra. Ramatra goes down as well. Scuba Steve, you absolute menace. Going after the Sojourn from Swak right there and takes out the Sojourn. Absolutely huge. Now, this is the morale boost that the Grizzlies needed right here. This payload has not quite reached the first checkpoint, meaning that no time has been added to the Swak's counter. That means that with only 2 minutes and 20 seconds left in this round, Swak has got to make it past this checkpoint and all the way to the spawn room for the Grizzlies in order to take this game into overtime. With how fast... Ace is building her nanos. I want to see her throw this on the boss or Steve right now. Try and get another horse. Yeah. Steve uses, Put it out there. Steve uses his ult though. He's the last one. Pretty, pretty, the boss pretty goes down combat. right there to the Bastion. Mizzle smack. That's a good man. Kind of overstepped a little bit there. If this can get something that's huge. Oh, that window. That is huge. Oh, that's a good ult, but they get the beat out. It's essentially a neutral fight now once this beat wears out. But they're actually Looks like Scuba Steve is going to have the back up. Javelin throw is ready, yeah. does not quite take a victim. Despian and Jaden Key both go down, so does Ace of Spades. Looks like Steve is going to follow. He's trying to get back right here, but that Nemesis form and the Bastion just tearing into Scuba Steve was not ideal. Had to give that up. Had to give up. So this is exactly where Swak is going to have to take this payload to. Once they reach this position, they're going to have to take this game into overtime. Depending on how much time is left for the clock on Swak, with 2 minutes and 40 seconds left right now. That's, the not, that's not exactly the character you want to be flanking on. You might have got someone out pushing on him. Someone fell for the honeypot a little bit. 
Grizzlies are the only ones with ult right now. We're about to have speed. Yeah. We have nano surge. We can see a little combo here. I do Doing see a like... nano surge right now. I'm looking into the future. I think I can feel it at the moment. I think a good javelin spin, negating a little bit of damage right there, going into that terror surge really good with some fortify. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready. Not even be needed. Right running. Madras. Vibes on the Sojourn is clicking up to another overclock though, and they've been pretty tough with these. So. Yeah, vibes on Sojourn, but that overclock is kind of terrifying. The boss getting an elimination on Vibes. Vibes has now been reset to the spawn room, meaning even though she does have that overclock, Annihilation goes out. A big two beats goes down. Gonna, and and go big go big terror, terror surge right there. Wait it out a little bit. Oh, oh dude! Oh. Scuba Steve with the huge Terra Surge with the Nano waiting out the lamp from Baptiste right there. Picking up a triple, trying to handle this Ramatra, and the Ramatra is handled by Debosh right there. Vibes on Sojourn, the only one left from SWAT, kind of running back now, trying to get back to her team. A minute and 20 seconds left on the clock at the moment. SWAT is going to really have to hop on this payload and just not get off. Because I feel like if they lose this next team fight, they're not going to have any time to get back on point, and the game is going to go to the Grizzlies. I'd say at most they have two team fights. Yeah. They got a windowed overclock I, I know this fight. So it's going to be. They really do have a windowed overclock. It's going to be hard. We got. We got the Grizzlies do have a visor, though. Oh, and I see oh, the boss. There he's, 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 he's lurking. He's creeping. He's creeping. He's about to jump off. This guy, bro, is going to pull the trigger. Oh, so gosh. That guy. I wouldn't put it past him. He's really in there. Oh, Overclock goes down. Oh, 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 oh. If he puts it in and pops it, I think he'll get a huge awesome. Oh, he just needs to hold it here. He needs to hold this. He needs to just get out. Yeah, I think that again. Or just die. I mean, reset. It's not winnable. You got one good fight. We're about to have Steve ult as well. So. The boss, the only one with the ult right now, like Jackson Walk just said, Bastion. bringing Steetle up here with that Terra Surge is going to be pretty huge. Oh, oh no, no but that portal. Bastion ultimate goes awesome. in. Yeah. Scuba Steve trying to stay alive right now. Steve just got his ult. He's touching the stall. He's going to oh, get his ult. big Reaper and ultimate right there. That's two. He, gets, he got the Baptiste. They get Ramatra. The boss able to get two eliminations right there. Scuba He's Steve and back Baptiste on Fury. They have heals. This the is so winnable. Is this, is here. Here. this is no longer winnable. <laughs> the beat goes down. <laughs> beat goes down. <laughs> the boss goes down. Oh. If they can stall, Steve can get out with this ult. Steve's here. Maybe get oh, something. look at three they of the Grizzlies on now. Big ult right now. That Lucio almost dead that right Lucio. there. They need to take this Lucio out. They yeah. got that to be Lucio low. has to go. Yeah. Thespian gets an elimination. Is only Scuba Steve sitting oh, on right now. Ryan! Ryan! From the back line. From out of nowhere. Downtown. Out of absolutely nowhere. That was, I did not see that coming. I was. I did not see that coming either. Anyways, guys, it is overtime. Score is currently 3-2-3. Three, three. The Grizzlies have a minute and 42 with Swak having a minute left. And I believe it's whichever team has the least amount of time attacks first. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. personally should be defending here. What I'm worried about, what I'm worried about is that it took the Grizzlies a good minute to get through that, that initial defense on the first round. It did. It took, oh, them a, yeah. it took them a couple pushes in order to get through that first defense as Rad just just said right here so we're gonna see uh, especially with a minute and 42 seconds for the grizzlies who are gonna be on defend first we're just gonna have to see if they're gonna be able to get on time now one thing about overtime on uh hybrid game modes is the fact that once the payload hits a checkpoint the team does not gain any extra time like they do in a normal round so once it hits overtime it's gonna stay on overtime and the grizzlies or the lakers are gonna have to stay on that payload in order to not lose the game one little slip up with a couple of the players hopping off the payload and it's over i just would like to see them not make the same play twice i think they hold back point here and stop yeah, just walk a little bit of space to push in and then just he it looks ready. like Scuba Steve. I'm seeing the ping come up here from Scuba Steve. Looks like he wants Thespian up here with Ace of Spades kind of in the back line over here, keeping some tab right now. I think Thes Thespian holding down this area right here is going to be able to stop the Bastion and the Sojourn from Swak by coming up here again. Yeah, that way they can't get the flank again. But without the Bastion, you are down a lot of damage. And Bastion, I mean, Bastion is really good right now. I'm not back it up. Bastion is a very great character on Kings Road. Batman, the boss goes back down back. already. That was not good. I got turned back up. As long as Thespian and Ace of Spades are kind of infringed on the high ground, it's a foldable. Thespian goes down to the Bastion. 
Yeah. 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 This is the part where you just run away and try and hold close. This is a get out. Oh, situation. big anti nade. That's a big nade, though. You're right. You get that bastion. Scuba, you taking up the bastion. Back in. This is winnable. Oh, they're holding it. They're holding it's it. Been absolutely you're winnable. Give we need some winnables in chat wow. right now, ladies this and gentlemen. Is huge. The I know they're absolutely so winnable. Winnable. Oh, winnable. It's winnable right here. And they won it. Three seconds left. Can this adjourn get on point? No. She, no. Yeah, no. Wow. All the Grizzlies have to do now is yeah. to begin capturing like this point. Yeah. Oh, Jay Turner in chat says, get these bombs off the mic, but not Royal. Well, you know, Jay Turner, Jay Turner, Turner I knew out that out of all of Dyer's friends, I knew that you were my favorite. I, I knew for a fact since the beginning. I go, you can not go over here. <laughs> all right, we're switching sides oh. once more. Now, Swak made, I think, z was it zero progress on point? Maybe no, a little bit of progress? No, they got two ticks. They got two ticks. Oh, they so got two ticks? Just ticks. Just have two ticks. It is, if we can't get as much as them, it is losable. But So the Grizzlies are they, going to have to get two ticks to win. And, and, we get and we're going with this block, really though. fast call up again. Oh, I like what I see. I like what I see. This is exactly what you guys did uh, last week, last Wednesday, and hopefully maybe what you're going to be doing again here in a couple hours. But... <laughs> <laughs> Last week, if you no, did miss the Premier Series Overwatch game, uh, Blue and Rad and Dire, my co-casters right now, were in there playing this game on this map, running basically this comp right here as well. And they just stormed in on overtime and was able to if, take out the point. If I were, um, if I were in the, in the group... In the premier team's position right now. No, um, yeah. Three, you got this. Genders, yeah. you got this. Don't worry, <laughs> he's got it. We got faith. Ashton. I want to see him. I want to see him go through hotel. Just run through yeah. hotel, hop on point. Yeah. And that they just can... all comes down to Steve. This, just, just, this is a turn really early. It as does. Turn in, so you amp and shout. Yeah, push. Uh, go uh, now. This is your go button. Press it. Press it. Press it. You need to get in there. Right, right. Not quite. Not this time. They're nervous. They're not ready this time. Next time. Yeah. One, one, we go. Oh. And it took too long. Now he has turret back up to stop this push. And he's in the back one. He didn't find anything, but he is a threat there. He just keeps walking by himself. He don't care. Okay. Thespion on a little bit of a flank. Yeah, Thespion on a flank right here, trying to get up on top of people. I'm assuming this, this Baptiste is going to be yeah. able to hear her footsteps, though. Oh, and the Sojourn oh, definitely does. Oh, oh that's running. Oh, shoot. She's out of oh, here. The boss does not quite get away. Oh, big oh, anti nade! What a nade! What a nade! Scuba Steve getting some eliminations right here. Oh. What is going down right now? Scuba Steve, can he finish? Runnable. He finishes up no. with Lucio. He can he finish the Rematra? Is he that guy? Is he him? He's him. Scuba Steve shout. is him. Good shout. There's a shout. He's got the axe back. He can go for the swing right here. Gets a hit on the Nemesis form Ramatra. However, that Bastion is coming back in. Gets the knife for a little bit of healing right there. Jaden Key comes in on the Lucio. Ems got Rampage. There goes Bastion again. The boss going in. Jaden Key gets taken out. That's being the backline right over here. Yeah, it's just I think they got this. Mercs is going to get back in. Oh, and Nano Boost onto the boss from Ace of Spades right here. And they're capping. They're capping. Here's the wrecking ball. They got oh, yep, yeah, the wrecking pass. ball you coming out. You need to hold alive playing Reaper. I'm not letting go of the objective. Another swap. They're on to Tracer trying to get back to point. Yeah, swap on Tracer, on Bastion as well. Yeah, this is, this is big. Like real this is big. This, this is so winnable. That's game. And it's been won by the Grizzlies. What an absolutely insane game. Now, the score is currently 2-0 for the Grizzlies. And as we hop into player of the game, I'm going to tell you guys that we're getting ready for game number three very, very soon. Player of the game does go to Vibes, the Sojourn, the Sojourn from Swak. Let's go ahead and take a look crazy. at this play of the game. Yeah, I do, I can't lie, this is was nasty. But anyways, after this play of the game, we're gonna be hopping into a quick BRB screen, and we will see you all for game number three. All right, everybody, we are live for game number three of the NJC AAE Overwatch 2 Contender Series. We are the Grizzlies, and tonight, we're going up against the SWAC Lakers. Now, I do have to apologize to our man Dyer over here. I did accidentally kind of cut him off. So, Dyer, what were you about to say before we hit the BRB screen last round? I was just trying to give Ace of Spades her flowers. She's been playing a great game on Ana. These I nades, game winning. I got to agree, Incredible. definitely. Dyer is giving Ace She's doing that work. premium gas. That premium yeah. gas, absolute petrol over here. Anyways, is Jimmy Buckets in the room with you still, or no? I do have Jimmy Buckets here. You I want to ask You do have Jimmy Buckets. So, Jimmy Buckets, hop in the mic right guys? now. 
Jimmy Buckets is so, the team captain for the Overwatch 2 contender team. And I just want to say, Jimmy, how are you feeling right now, man? How are you feeling right now? You're up 2-0 first game of the year. How do you I'm, feel? I'm feeling fantastic about this team, man. You have got I mean, there. There's been so much improvement across like everyone on the board. We had some people who weren't even comfortable playing Overwatch. And now they're out here excelling on their roles. They're using their util. They're playing like a team. It's fantastic. Yeah, they're doing really well today. I have a couple other questions here for you. Uh, first, bank. people want to know, do you have any pregame rituals? Uh, not as a kind of manager for the contenders team, but I do have a pregame ritual playing on the premier team. I call it the uh, win potion, where I go over to Casey's and I get a jumbo-sized Mountain Dew. Really puts the bugs in my skin, gets me all jittery stuff to play the game. Okay. We've seen it firsthand every and game. And then one yeah, more. How much Mountain Dew do, uh, One more. How much do you bench? Uh, currently I bench 185. Still working on it though. That, that's this a big man right there. Some, this guy's moving some steel. Anyway. Back, back to the game. game. Yeah. Back to the actual casting. Enough about this Jimmy Buckets guy. Anyways, so Dyer, this is an escort map, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yes, first it thing is. I, so what goes on seeing. on an escort map? First thing I'm seeing, Ace of uh, Spades is no longer on auto. She's on Mercy. That is yeah, true. Yeah, getting damage boost on the soldier. I <laughs> It's, it's going to do a lot of damage, that's no joke. So, D Dyer, what goes on in an escort game mode? So, basically take last map and take away the capture point. You get you start the game with the payload under your belt, you just got to move it. And they're, they're already yeah, they're moving it. They're moving it, that's for sure. We're looking at, from the Swak Lakers, we're looking at a poke comp. They're going to want to try and stay away, do a lot of damage, maybe find a pick before the fight actually starts. And... The Grizzlies are running more of the same, really. A little bit more brawly with the Zarya, kind of. Um, if, if he can get some charge on that character, he's going to do a ton of damage. If he gets that charge right. and they close yeah. the distance with this poke comp, it's, yeah. it should just be Grizzlies the whole way. Which, that's what he's, I, it looks like that's what he's doing. I bet he's at probably 60 cards. He already pops grab. Got it blocked by the shield, too. That was actually really nice from the tank on the Lakers. It looks like, is that Ace of Spades? No, that's Giratina on Ana. Looks like we have switched out Jaden Key for Giratina again. And, and oh Ace God. on Mercy. Yeah, Ace on Mercy as well. Reviving the boss, but Giratina goes down to that Storm Arrow. Oh, what? a Flux right there. Soldier goes he, down. He's not a fan of Thespian. Not a fan of Thespian right here. Scuba Steve on the Zarya, absolutely going crazy right now. Looks like he's got that beam built up to 30% right now. Oh, a big like block from that accretion. That's huge. Gaining an extra 35% to that beam charge. Going straight in for the mercy. That sick was helpless back there. He can't do anything. I would like to see him use these bubbles a little more to uh, enable the boss. I want to see him bubble oh, the boss in. Mercy. 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 He just walks through and gets him. And there goes the Sigma too, right after. Yeah. And he's just going to go for the rest of the team at this point. This is the go button. He presses Take W and he just goes. Takes a lot of damage from that storm arrow though. The boss w going up here. Uh, doesn't quite get enough damage off. So and the that's funny the thing is that we got to try to get through the boss's head as shotguns are actually shotguns and you have no range with them. He seems to like to shoot from a pretty big distance. He's going for a flank. He almost has Blossom. If I were him, I would just, I mean, I, I'd deal with something that she can. And he has a Zarya. His if he can get a bubble, player. yeah. Oh, oh, oh he, he did, backs he up with the bubble. He, he did have it. it. That probably is what they're trying to do right here. Yeah, it looks like, like every Ramatra. single ultimate is up right now, but the Ramatra. Yeah, this is going to be a window this is goes be out. Some kind of and a flank, a, a flank in the back, a flank in the back. Flank, flank. Hanzo ultimate goes down. Storm arrow taking out Giratina. Looks like the boss is about to go down as well. Yeah. If, if, if I were the Grizzlies, I'd just hold. Yeah, if, that, if you're the Grizzlies, you get out of here. That's a really expensive fight win. You just reset right now and go back in later. But they did swap off sticks, so they're not quite as pokey. They're going to try and get in his face a little bit, but there's no one to actually kind of brawl with the Ram. They may have they may have lost the Sigma, but they are... All alts are down for the swap. All are up, all, all are up for the Grizzlies. It's looking... If I were them, I'd just... Yeah. I'd nano blossom, and I'd, I'd, I'd get in there. Yeah, that last fight was an absolute win. They got four ults out from the price of zero. Oh no! You throw a nano onto the boss, give him a bubble, press Q, the, 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 the win. Yep. 
This is the issue with playing into this back. poke comp, though. They just have so much damage from a distance. You can lose one on the approach before the fight ever happens. Oh, they're going so the lane flick here. They're going to take this long route around. This is the safer way in. Very smart. Oh, Thespian oh, goes oh, down. Until they lose one, is the res up, I wonder? They the still got one up, but she did res Thespian just moments before that. I don't it's know the cooldown on that one. It's 30 seconds. Up. We're going to go for it. Big, oh, oh, big Nano right there as well. Everything dragging it down. Giratina goes down as well. So does the boss. And the boss goes it's in turn this right there. It's actually forward. huge. It's actually and huge. And Steve just tapes down W. Keep going. He could have. He could have. He's going to let him get out. That was a really big ult, though. Dyer, we are pushed. supposed to let you know that you had the best interview questions ever from yeah. Cabbage Zeus. <laughs> Cabbage Zeus says you have the best interview questions. Hey, I came How up with much those do you bet? I came up with those all on my own. He's just scoping out his competition in the gym, you know what I mean? Okay. This Dyer, this Dyer guy, he, he's all scrawny. That's what he's a white yeah, nervous. yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen a picture of Dyer here at MSU West Plains, but this guy built like an absolute twig. It's actually kind of like, crazy. We call him the stick bug locally. It's not possible, I don't think. Yeah, we call him a walking stick out here. They're going. Man. Here they come. Oh, and lots of ults being popped right here. Looks like a visor of Valkyrie goes down. So it's an annihilation. I want to see him back up out of this remote Yeah. I oh, think... Oh! Oh, Scoob is getting the elimination oh, on the Mantra. That guy just doesn't exist. I think you use Pocket Steve and tape down W. You get in there now, right? WM1. WM1. Glue it down, Stevie. And he's yeah. got it. He's got that one. He's got the Lucio. He's got the bat. And he looks like he's about to have the Ash as well. That Ash is absolutely toast. So is Asanza. This is not getting cut. out of yeah. Cut! You know what we're doing? Fighting. Guys, Fighting. what are we doing right now? We're fighting, they're walking. uh... They're walking. That's what they're doing. <laughs> they're pushing this payload. They are. The payload's on the move. Completely unstoppable. They have no fear. There's something that I've noticed with every single one of the Grizzlies teams. It doesn't matter what roster or what game they're playing. We're all just so aggressive. I, I don't know what it is. This is something that I've noticed with every single roster here. You want to play slow or you want to play fast? You want to play fast. You wanna play fast. That's if a big ult the the Oh, team. the beat goes down. I mean, they get the beat out and no one, I mean, if you can live for the Grizzlies, this is still a W. Just get out, reset, and come back in. I mean, we're gonna have mana. He's gonna get this grab. Really the people fast. love the pressure. Yeah. Looks like Giratina like on Ana is about to have nano as well. I'd still like to see him enabling the boss on this Reaper a little bit more. We love Steve the Enabler. Looks like a nano is ready by Giratina right here, and I'm also seeing a death blossom at 98%. I'm ready for it, guys. I want Ladies it. and gentlemen, I'm ready for it. The Bob goes down, however. The boss backing up. That Bob is not going to live long if this is already around. And I think Bob is right down, actually. Oh, no, there he is. He's taking a nap. Okay, well, I have a 100% charge with the nano. Oh, the boss going on the flank right here. The behind. The boss on the flank. The boss on the flank. Is he doing it? And he's doing it! He goes in! Another good one! And he goes in! The boss, you absolute demon, Scuba C is backing him up as well. Oh my. Winnable. Hashtag winnable in the chat right now. Push into their spawn, hold them back. They still have. Oh, Bastion comes flying out of nowhere. Bastion goes down due to a nade. They lost Hana. Hana's back up. Okay, yeah. This is cleanup now. Yeah, it's just. Get him off point. Could be. Push you never know. And it Don't looks go. like it is over. And yep. it looks like the first round, Grizzlies are up 3-0 to zero right now. But we are going to be switching sides to see what's about to go down with the Swak Lakers attacking. Now, I'm excited to see the team comp. Now, Mr. Mister Rad, would you be the guy whenever the team comp is revealed to us here as uh, spectators? Are you going to be the guy to tell us what that's all about? I can tell you exactly what they're thinking. Exactly I mean, I, what they're thinking? Rad is exactly that what they're thinking. guy. Rad this is that guy. Smart. This man is smart. They call me the thinker. He has two veins in his forehead. I see him right now. They're <laughs> bulging. I get well, I'm sorry, but I just got to call you out. No one calls you, quote unquote, the thinker. Yeah, that's ask, kind of... Ask Jimmy Buckets. Get him in here right now. I think Jimmy Buckets would take our side. I think Jimmy Buckets would take our side as well. I mean, this Abe guy, this Rad guy, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have it. Even Brad. Do you guys remember Brad when he cast with me? Yeah, that interview. was weird. Yeah, that Brad, Brad guy. Was Brad was weird. He was kind of weird. I don't really know how to feel about him. I'm actually kind of glad he's not like... He actually, he actually just showed up in the building. Yeah, he kind of just like walked in, 
went into my room and said, yo, yo, Royal, I'm casting with you, man. And I was like, I, whatever, dude. And so he casted with me, and it, it I yeah. guess it was okay, but... Ooh, I mean, we, no have one some, them. we have some more chat what readouts we, got? we need to get we got, through. We got yeah, an it's J. Turner. Reaper. I mean, this is this is this is what they've been rocking the whole time. Yeah. We all we all know what they're thinking here. They're gonna play close. They're gonna play aggressive, and they're just gonna keep pounding them. All right, looks like Blue has a couple of. Uh, we got some chat readouts. Yeah, we got some chat readouts. Jay Turner, dire camp bitch, two twenty five. What do we say? That's slanderous. That's <laughs> slanderous to dire. And secondly, we have Shoutlaw saying we need to bring good old Rad up to the Academic Integrity Commission. <laughs> well, and then we valid. have Cabbage Zeus, which I think so far in the stream has been my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, chatter right now. Saying that the the casting is god tier. We got another one and from Jay Turner. Turner. <laughs> he says he's aggressive, but he can't talk to women, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, our, the slander to Dyer. You know what, Dyer? We still love you, bro. You know, from our, from Rad and Blue and Royal. We're here. just throwing out more slander. Kenshiro says our count, shout casters are the, are, whoa, the most oh, goaded of all God. time, God. except for Spencer. Royal, you're out. I'm out. Cut. Cut. All right. I mean, back to the lost the first fight. We kind of got pressed out along. Yeah, in our distraction, they got walked off. <laughs> yeah, now we we're back to casting, so they roll. Oh! The oh! Steve, oh! oh! Steve, 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 oh! The bat falls. Oh, Very nice. And a good nade. Another one. Oh, Giratina's my. got him, too. Giratina has the nades just like Ace of Spades. Do a little bit of rhyme right here. He's so low. Fighting, absolutely beautiful, looking good. Tracer blinking back. Oh, There's big pulse bomb right there. Oh, Takes out Thespian on Sombra. However, Scuba Steve was able to stay alive. That's it. A little, it back fast. A little collateral damage that was actually stuck to Steve, and he yeah. ran it into Thespian. <laughs> Thespian, 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 Thespian. I wonder if there's something going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Speaking of Thespian, Sombra? Sombra on Thespian. Yeah. Sombra. Or Thespian on Sombra. I don't what that's Sombra's about, actually. Sure. I don't really know how that fits into this comp. But it's all right. It's now, all what right. do you, what do you, what is the mercy damage boost? Now? Is it stick to Arista. That's what. She, I'd that's say what probably the Arista. Maybe. Well, let's see what she's doing. Yeah. Whenever Reaper gets in close, just damage boost in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is some top tier mercy gameplay right here. That this is the kind always. of stuff that happens on the MSU Grizzlies three talk like last year. Oh, okay, this is oh, good. the Glocky. Don't oh, even care. She's got that thing on her. Oh, Reaper down. Is he gonna, the boss is she gonna go for the res? Steve. The aggressive nano. Steve is in there. Steve is, How is he Steve in there? Steve almost has all. Steve has all. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Oh, Steve. Oh, Scuba Steve, brother. What have you done? He wants to lose him. Cut. Oh, cuts. Yeah, you Fighting. Get this team. Absolutely you get this menacing. Team. God. Oh. Why was he even so deep? He was in the middle of their team the whole time. Dyer, like I said at the notes. very beginning of the stream, Scuba Steve likes to go deep in Overwatch. We know He's how that it guy, works. He's that guy. He is him. Looks like Swalk's gonna get try and play a little bit faster now on this queen. I'm gonna try and maybe just ignore Steve. Actually, that might be the play here. Just I think a lot beat. of uh, a lot of the Swalk players have been ignoring Steve. I mean, a lot oh, of times, oh, especially oh, that I've noticed, he's just really walking past like Europe. four people. I think it's Steve. Yeah, Steve. This is Steve's kind of what I don't what really I feared from. might come to pass. They just shout and just run down here to you. Oh. More collateral oh, damage, oh, not again. Oh, no, not again. Steve has now taken out Thespian yeah, on Sombra and Ace of Spades on Mercy. Yeah, Scuba Steve committing a little bit of a friendly fire right here, uh, taking out two of his teammates. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to have a locker room talk, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to ha have to go out there and uh, give him a little slapperoo on the cheeks, you know what I mean? We do not endorse oh. this kind of toxicity. Cool. Looking at this fight, we have the MP. We so... have the MP, we got Blossom. I think if you're the girl this year, you wait, out the, you wait out the window, and then you EMP to clear the window and go aggressive. Nice. Swalk's yeah, gonna think the they have an advantage when they pop this window. Ooh. So if they- Oh, the queen, we got here, Right here, e right here. Do it now, it's big, and then there they go, there they go. Terracer! Very good. Oh my, it's over. It's over! It's over! Uh, and is that game three? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, that is game bang. number- Three and that is the contender series game one for the Grizzlies right there against the Swak Lakers. I want to say thank you to everybody who hopped into chat today as play of the game goes to vibes from the Swak 
Lakers. Now, I also want to say thank you to my fellow casters, Blue, Rat, and Dire. You guys were awesome. We definitely need to do this again. Looks like a lot of people were enjoying it. All right, it is time to say goodbye to stream, so we will see everybody next week. Goodbye, everyone. Peace out.